In version 9 of Photoshop Elements, we have some extra options associated with importing images into our Organizer workspace. Let me give you an example. If we go up to File and then down to Get Photos and Videos from Files and Folders. And we have a USB drive or a thumb drive connected to our machine or even a CD or a DV complete with a full set of images inserted into our computer we now have another option for accessing these photos. If I click From Files and Folders and then go and we'll just look at the computer itself and go through to our removable disk. Now this is a USB thumb drive and you'll notice that there's a bunch of images sitting on this thumb drive. Normally what we would do is download all of these images to our hard drive and then import them into the library or catalogue of Photoshop Elements. But now in version 9 we have the ability to choose whether we want to copy the files on import to the default location for Photoshop Elements files or whether we want to not copy them but generate a series of previews of those images and just leave them on the associated drive. Now this is great if you're working with either images on a CD or a DVD or images on a connected USB drive or a thumb drive. And you don't want to move them from that thumb drive or from those CD or DVD discs. By generating previews, it's possible for you to actually work with those files, organize those files, and when it comes time to actually make some changes and do some editing to those files, Elements will ask you to reconnect the USB drive or reinsert the disks in order to access the original files to do the editing or enhancing. So it just gives you some extra options when you're working with your files to not have to have them stored on the local machine or your local computer or on the hard drive of your computer or laptop, but have them actually stored on a a drive that can be connected or CD or DVD discs.